Hi everybody. Now that you're watching this, we're already married. I'm finally a blummer and I don't know how I feel about it yet. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming everyone and let's go boogie down for a while, huh? <laughs> She's got every quality From A all the way to Z It's easy to see She's the perfect girl She's got every single thing That makes up my wildest dreams Sometimes I still can't quite believe She's holding me cause she got it all Trying to get her to go to sleep, oh, I'd have to lay with her, sing, and rock her. I think she'd be asleep. I'd go out of the room, she'd start screaming again. Don't you worry about little stuff. Sarah slipper and it's not on the no, doorknob. Not, You're damn know. right. <laughs> 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 the Zach Brown band says it best when they say um, they got whatever it is. She just, you can't even explain it. She just has what it is. I, growing up, have never been the most confident person in the world, and she just brings a confidence out of me and a, an ability to get outside of my shell, and I, I can't explain it, I guess. <laughs> you just know. I've never seen a fox eat an apple either. What I love most about Eric is his heart and his willingness to help anyone and everyone. Um, he's a great friend to everyone and he's just a very sweet person. I met Eric probably oh, many years ago, freshman year of high school. I knew him before then, I just didn't, you know, chose not to associate myself with him. <laughs> The thing I will enjoy most about being married to Eric is the way that he makes me laugh. Always entertaining. <laughs> Always guaranteed to do something remotely stupid. 
He probably has set a few records. I don't know of anybody else that can sprint through downtown Minneapolis and try to eat a dome dog at the same time. <laughs> Every time I know Eric's coming, I count for two. <laughs> Me? Really? stayed in this family and, and become part of this family and what he's gone through with Sarah's illness and and is still here. That speaks volumes as far as I'm concerned. He's very willing to teach me things. Um, I know very little about waterfowl and hunting and he is, that's his whole life. No, and then we, we started doing a lot of fishing together and found out that he actually could fish. So, you know, that was a bonus. <laughs> Plus, he had his own equipment, so I didn't have to supply half the stuff. My fondest memories are sitting in the fish house or boat, laughing, giggling, playing cards and games, and getting to know each other and talking about the past. Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us and we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in a heaven. Oh, oh. Delicious bass! Oh. <laughs> Woo! Winning! Winning! <laughs> One of the, my favorite things, spending time with Sarah is when we went to Seattle. It was fairly early in our relationship, but it was, it was a really good experience. So, I mean, it was a lot of car time together, but it, it brought us a lot closer. It's better when we're together. Mm. It's better when we're together um, because we complement each other so well. We're both very laid back and we like to make jokes and we love to laugh and we just love life. <laughs> and I'm gonna love you like nobody loves you. And I learn your trust me. Eric has been probably the best thing that's ever happened to her, as far as I can tell. Just knowing that she's going to be there with me forever the rest of our lives is, is pretty amazing. She was kind enough to be the maid of honor in my wedding, and now I am excited to be able to repay that favor to her. She's also the godmother of Emma. They are very excited to have Big E finally be their uncle. And go! He's kind to Sarah. He takes good care of her. He loves our family. He's always willing to do things for us and spend time with us. And Dick and I also wish them a long, healthy, and happy life together. Yeah, Sarah, congratulations. You got a good one, and God bless you. They're just good people. I love you, Auntie Sarah and Biggie. So happy life to you both. We love you both. I tell you, you know, if things get too tough, just pack up your duds and leave. That's all. <laughs> and I thank you for my heart. I thank you for my life. And I thank God for grace and mercy. And that you became my wife. I'm seeing for the first time the stars, the sun, and moon. They got nothing on the power of this love I have for you and I thank you, I thank you. Sarah, I love you with all my heart and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You are my best friend in the whole world. We've been through a long journey together and we know that the little things matter, so. And the whole world started turning and I swear that I'd been born again Because of you and so I thank you for my heart I thank you for my life And I thank God for grace and mercy And that you became my wife I'm seeing for the first time The stars, the sun and moon But they got nothing on the power Of this love I have for you i
so many things that I just can't explain. But the miracle of miracles is how with your love I was saved. And I thank you. I thank you for my life. I thank God for grace and mercy. And then you became my wife. And I'm seeing for the first time the stars, the sun and moon. But they got nothing on the power of all this love I give to you. And I thank you for my heart. I thank you for my life. I thank God for grace and mercy. And that you became my wife. 